Hey everyone, it's Christine and welcome to my channel, Ginger Dressing. I may refer to myself as Ginger every now and then because I don't want to say my name all the time. So today I have a video showing you my package I got from Mod Cloth. They had a 70% off cabin fever sale, which saved me over $200. And I'm very, very proud of this, uh, of what I got. The cabin fever sale included dresses, accessories, shoes. It was endless. There was like over 3,000 items on sale. And then within like an hour, it dropped down less than a thousand than it was before. So the website actually dealt with a lot of difficulties because of the fact of the mass overload of users trying to get this sale. It took me over an hour to just purchase this stuff and I actually had to talk to someone. It was, I was not letting this deal go away basically is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna read you guys off the titles of these dresses because if you know Mod Clock, they have a name for every dress and they're always so cute and amazing. I haven't tried all of them on yet. I keep telling myself that it's spring and it's not here. It's still cold in Atlanta, so one day I'll get to wear these once it gets warmer. The first dress I got is called You Bow the Feeling. You Bow the Feeling is this one. It's this blue dress, royal blue. It's very Zoe de Chanel if you ask me. It's called You Bow the Feeling dress because if you can see the back of it. It's got this detail that looks like it's a bow on your back. And I just think it's adorable. It's a very thin material, but I don't think I can wear a bra with this because obviously the back is so open. So I gotta figure out how I'm not gonna show through with this thin material. But this was only $14.99, and I think it was regularly $49.99. Steel. The next dress I got is called Could Come in Candy Dress. And I think that this dress is going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. It's just a very, really pale pink. And it's got this awesome shiny um, silver thread that's going through it. Another style dress that, uh, just like the last one, with the, the waistline and just a flowy bottom skirt. It's got a little keyhole in the back. I love when they have little keyholes. It just adds a little something else. But because it's so cold, I'll probably end up wearing maybe a colored white shirt underneath this so that I can still wear it right now in the spring since it's still cold. The next dress I got is called, sorry, I'm reading off of the order list, Polished and Pasadena Dress. Now this dress, I was really surprised that I bought it because of the fact, like, I don't really go out too much, so I never have anything to go out. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get something and make an excuse to go out and wear it. So I got this little sex and number. It's got a really nice v-neck and it's a halter. It's a fitted. But I just really like the frills. I'm a frilly kind of girl, so I'm hoping that this will look good with my hair and um, the boobs. The boobs will look nice, hopefully. This was $13.99. All of these dresses pretty much range regular price, either $50 or $60. I know my boyfriend said he really liked this one, so. Hopefully it'll do good things. <laughs> Zest is more dress in green. My friend Lauren, shout out to Lauren, um, in Valdosta we went to this one boutique and she got this strapless green dress and it was so, so, so cute. Uh, they didn't have my size and this girl's like, she's like this big, she's tiny. And it was her birthday, it was the greatest birthday dress. I, Anyways, I was super jealous of it. And when I saw, saw this dress on Mod Clock, I was just like, oh my God. It's not, it's not exactly, it's just the same style of it. Strapless, um, green. Green is one of, is my favorite color, so I'll wear a lot of green stuff. But what I like about this is the bow in the front, and it's actually got some padding up top, so I guess I don't have to wear a bra with this, which will be nice. And then it's got a little crinoline underneath it to make it bounce out a little bit. It's kind of wrinkled, I need to iron it. I'm sorry, you guys. But I am in love with this, and I cannot wait to wear it. This is probably one of my favorite items that I bought. I'll probably put a picture up of my friend Lauren's dress and then put it next to this, and you'll see how that style of inspiration was from her and how I got this. And then the next dress is called Demure and Luck Dress. Now, I'm kind of sad about this because I, I ordered it, and then I read the reviews after, and the reviews said that 
the bust line and the top is really, really small and I have a bigger bust. So I haven't tried it on yet just because I know it probably isn't going to fit me. So I'm just like telling myself I'll lose weight and then I'll fit into it because I don't want to feel like I just made a purchase that I can't even wear. It's just going to kill me. I love it because of the the collar basically weighing me over. I love this style of dress. Like 90% of my dresses are probably this style. Some people call it a teacher style or whatever. I honestly just think it's adorable and I enjoy these dresses a lot. Dress it up, dress it down. You can wear it wherever. It's not, there's no rules with it, I feel like. I'm really fancy with the back. It's just, just the collar. Demure and love dress. Hopefully this will fit. It doesn't look like it wouldn't fit. I don't know. And my last purchase was something that I normally probably wouldn't get, but I decided to just go off the style path and just experiment. I know velvet's kind of getting in the style now, so I thought I'd make a velvet purchase. And um, it was on sale, so that was another reason why I decided to do that. It's this black velvet high to low skirt. And I tried styling it today with this top and it didn't look good, so I'm still trying to figure out what I should style this with. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment below because I don't know what to do. I actually paired it with like a, a band t-shirt and I kind of felt like I looked sloppy in it. I didn't really, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. But this was only $14.99. And I just couldn't pass it up. I mean, I have these black boots that I would wear with it, and they would, and it looks awesome. I just can't figure out the top. But the velvet's nice. And I guess the other thing I complain about is just this waistband. It's just a plain waistband, and I don't know whether to cover it with a belt or just put a shirt over it or what. So yeah, I've purchased a lot of different things from Mod Cloth before. Um, this is, well, not a lot. This is only my third package I've ever gotten a mail sent to me. Um, the first two, I only had like one or two items, but I always buy stuff on sale because of the fact I can't really afford their stuff regular price because if you go to Mod Cloth, everything's at least like $50. I feel like, not everything, but all the dresses at least that I fall in love with are $50. I just love Mod Cloth and I feel like they're doing everything right as a store. I love their customer ratings and the reviews and it really helps me when I make my purchases and I highly suggest other people to go and join and if you do, you should let me know because if you send, if you invite people, you get $15 on a purchase. So, and you also get $15 on your purchase if so we refer each other or something like that. I don't know. I forget the logistics of all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments below on what you think about the dresses or what you think I should wear with this velvet skirt because it's driving me crazy. I need to find something to wear with it because it's so cold right now that this is appropriate for me to wear right now, not this spring or summer, obviously. Um, I'm probably going to do some more videos soon. I'm sorry that it's been over a week since I've uploaded a video. Um, and that wasn't even a video, that was just an intro. So this is like my first official video, I guess. I plan on doing a lot more once, um, things start to slow down. I'm dealing with moving out of my parents and this new job. And I was just trying to get everything in order. But once I get everything in order, then I'll just be popping out videos left and right. I definitely am planning on doing a tutorial on how to do my curly hair. A lot of people ask me how I do it. I'm going to do that for sure this week. And if you guys have any ideas for videos or if you want me to do anything, I mean, this, this channel is for you guys. So just leave your comments and suggestions below. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe again. Bye.